What's up everybody, this is Bruce, aka Geektacular. Today I've got another unboxing for you. Today we're going to be unboxing the brand new La Seraphim album, Unforgiven. Um, so this is their first full studio album. Um, I actually just recently kind of got into them. Um, I picked up all of their previous ones, their um, debut EP, Fearless, along with the um, Japanese version that has a couple... Two Japanese versions of songs from Fearless plus uh, an exclusive song. Um, and then um, I picked up uh, Anti-Fragile as well. Um, so yeah, this is kind of the, the next release. The one that is the newest that just came out like a week or two ago. Um, I've actually been waiting a little bit because I wanted to get the Weverse Shop exclusive version of this. Um, there's a couple different... There's three different concept versions, which have similar stuff. They just have slightly different photos, um, slightly different, um, you know, color design here and there and stuff like that. But the contents are going to be about the same. This one that I got is Dewey Sage. And I literally just went on the website where they put all the photos. I looked at all the concept photos for all three versions, and I just kind of picked the one that I liked. And usually when it's available, like... If it's something that um, they're making, I usually try to pick up the Weaver Shop exclusive because um, most of the stuff I get from the Weaver Shop anyway. So I figured if I'm going to kind of pay a little bit extra for the good shipping and stuff, um, I might as well get the exclusive version, you know. So I just want to unbox this, show you what's inside, kind of give you an overview of um, what all is in here. So let's take a look here. Unforgiven, the Dewey Sage version. The only thing on the outside is um, this Weavers exclusive shop sticker. It says it comes with one extra postcard. So this version is just going to have one additional postcard that you won't get with the standard um, release. Um, but it doesn't look like there's anything else on the outside of the shrink wrap. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off here. And then we will see what all is in here. Um, the design of the um, the design of the packaging and everything is a lot like um, Anti Fragile. It is very similar. It's almost the exact same size. It feels like it's kind of made of the same material. Um, so yeah, the the packaging is pretty similar actually. Um, one thing I do like to do when I pick up the Weverse versions is I usually, after I'm done with the unboxing and everything, I usually go and I cut out this sticker because um, it's kind of a cool like foil sticker and I just stick it inside with all the other contents. That way I kind of have it and I can kind of remind myself that, hey, yeah, this is actually the Weverse exclusive version. So that is one thing I do um, before I throw out the packaging and all that. So here is the album itself. It's kind of this um, matte, sort of papery feeling um, background here. And there's all this text and stuff um, that's sort of printed over here. Just some, like, flavor um, prose at the top there. And then here, Dewey Sage is the version, title of the album, UPC code there. And then this is all this, like, shiny kind of metallic red. And it kind of looks like it's, like, burned right there, which is cool. It's got kind of like a... A brown sort of thing like uh, like this part is like burned off almost so that's really cool and that wraps around actually to the side here as you can see it does have a little um, text there on the spine and then here it also wraps around on the bottom and along this side as well so that's very cool I, I like that design a lot the seraphim the UPC kind of wraps around too kind of just to be stylistic I guess and all that and there's the fine print there on the back. And then similar to Anti-Fragile, um, it has this big flap on the back that kind of keeps it closed. And you just pull it open. And it has basically the exact same type of packaging um, as Anti-Fragile as well. So Anti-Fragile had the exact same packaging type with this these two flaps that unfold. A little piece of paper that holds all the stuff. Um, 
So it's interesting that usually they switch up the packaging designs. So it's interesting that they kind of kept um, the exact same type of packaging um, for the, the last EP and also the, the full album. So let's take a look here. And again, this is the Dewey Sage album. So this album is actually more um, kind of like casual um, urban outfit sort of thing. A little bit athletic um, in some of the photos and stuff. Um, one of the one of the other ones is um, one of the other versions that they have of this is kind of this like really dark, like um, like sort of uh, like spooky sort of art. Um, where there's a lot of stuff with them like bleeding and they have like bows and arrows and stuff, and it's kind of more like dark and sort of artsy. And then the third version is kind of more like cowboy themed almost. If you've seen the Unforgiven music video, you'll kind of see some of that. But um, yeah, it's kind of, it's sort of like um, like modern cowboy sort of theme. They're riding like horses and they have like cowboy hats, but it's in like urban areas. So it's kind of like a modern cowboy theme. Um, this is a little bit more like aesthetic, sort of uh, casual kind of theme, which I just thought suited them really well. So here is one of the postcards here. And as you can see, it's like a matte postcard, standard postcard size, has some text on the back. So you get a postcard there. I don't know if that's the extra weavers postcard or if that's the standard postcard. Maybe that's the extra weavers one. Sometimes it says on it, sometimes it does not. So <laughs> I sometimes don't know which is which, but um, in this case, for the weavers exclusive version, at least I get that one. Here is a um, group photo card here. Very cool. This is kind of, um, the look from the, the cowboy sort of themed one, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And a lot of the design elements for this have this kind of, like, brown sort of smear, which is kind of supposed to, I think, be, like, burning. It's sort of like burn marks or that kind of thing, so got your photo card there. Here is your random individual photo card. I love that La Seraphim always puts these in these little like um, envelopes, which is cool. And let's see who we got here. Very nice. So yeah, the standard size, um, standard size photo card there with some text on the back. But yeah, I like that they all come in these. Um, these little kind of things with their logo on it. I think that's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Important. Here is the album itself. It's just in a little um, a little paper slip sleeve here. But here is the actual album itself on CD. It's kind of important when you're buying an album, you know? <laughs> I'm usually more excited about the other stuff because I've usually I've heard the album already, but... Still, cool to have it uh, on CD. Uh, sticker sheet here. These are like the logo, but in this um, kind of metallic red. And then some other logos, some of the flavor text and stuff like that there. So you get a sheet full of stickers there, which is cool. Um, two more postcards. Um, so this is interesting. So here's just another group postcard. It's kind of similar to the one um, that was in there uh, earlier. So this one has like the track list and stuff on it. So got a little bit more info, but similar, just kind of group um, postcard. This one is some kind of exclusive postcard and I, it's temperature sensitive. So it's like the size of a postcard. It has this on the back. But this is like kind of glued onto the front here. And as you can see, when I'm putting my hands over it, it's like warming up this material. And there's something underneath of it. Even just putting my hand like under it, like on the opposite side, is like heating it up. So that is so weird. It's like this temperature sensitive stuff here. I'm going to see... I'm going to see if I can reveal it for you. I don't know if it just means that... Oh my gosh, that's so weird. 
I don't know if it'll go back to black once it gets cool. I assume it probably will. Because it's not like, res like, there's no residue. It's like temperature. Yeah, see, it's already turning kind of back to black there. Except where I have my fingers under it there. I don't, let, yeah, let me just, this is really neat. Let me just see. I don't think there's anything, There's. I don't think there's an image or anything under here. I think it just kind of turns to red when you put your, uh, when you heat it up with something. So, very, that's super neat. I've never seen that before. That's so cool. Um, sorry, I got distracted by that. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Um, and then here is the Dewey Sage poster. You can see here. Unlike the Anti-Fragile um, EP, um, this one, you get the poster of the concept that you bought, which I really appreciate. Um, it was kind of annoying in the Anti-Fragile uh, release that you got a random poster. I don't think this is random. I assume this is because these all the postcards I got um, and the poster all go along with the concept um, that I picked for this one. So um, I assume this is not random. If it is, I mean, I, I just got lucky. I don't know. But the Anti-Fragile posters were actually totally random. So you would buy one concept and the book would be, you know, that particular concept. But um, the, like, postcard and the poster and all that stuff, it was all just totally random. So it's kind of weird. But I like that um, that this one is the, the one that goes with the concept. That's cool. And so here is kind of the big portion of the album. This is the uh, photo book here. It's got such a weird, it's very weird feeling. Um, it's, like, white, but it has these shiny black... They almost look like fragments or like speckles or something. And you can kind of feel them when you run your hand over it. So that's kind of cool. You got La Seraphim Unforgiven right there. And again, this is volume one, Dewey Sage. So some text on the back and more of these little like flecks. And it's like a bound paperback book. And it's pretty big, actually. So I won't show you every um photo in here but i will show you some so you can get kind of a feel for the um the aesthetic here of this particular concept but as you can see it's kind of a more like um sort of a more modern um semi-urban kind of casual thing and then a few of the photos they're like wearing you know football helmets and stuff so some of it's a little bit athletic Kind of photo shooty. So I just thought, you know, I kind of like this one because it seems like they were kind of having fun, you know, just sort of being, being themselves, which I thought was cool. Um, the the dark version that has like all the kind of creepy artsy image, I thought that one was cool too, but it was a little too like, I don't know, maybe a little too artsy for me to think it was um, it was too cool, but. Definitely um, different different concepts for different preferences, which is awesome. Um, you know, th that's variety is the spice of life. So the fact that they give you lots of different choices for each album is always awesome. So here at the end, after all the photos, you get a track list. Each track has the credits and the lyrics right there. So you get that for all of the tracks uh, with the title right here and all the lyrics there in Korean and English where applicable. And then let's see. Okay, so yeah, usually, I was going to say, usually they give each member at the end of the photo book a whole page to write whatever they want. So that's what they did here as well. Um, each member gets a whole page to themselves and they can write whatever they want to write to their fans, their family, or thanks, or whatever. So, I always appreciate that. Um, and then just some credits at the end. And yeah, that is the whole uh, photo book. And that is it. So, grand total here, we have the paperback photo book. We have the poster. And, oops, in the poster, will it fit this way? Uh, it probably won't fit that way. In the poster, uh, in addition to that, we have 
this really cool um, heat reactive postcard thing, which is neat. Two group postcards right there. And then sticker sheet, CD, group photo card, random uh, solo photo card. So you get all that there. All that, you just wrap it all up in this, uh, in this kind of paper wrapper right here. Just be careful when you're kind of taking it in and putting it out and putting it back in because it is kind of paper so it could tear pretty easily but you just fold down the top make sure it kind of clears everything there might have to scooch it over a little bit to make it fit and then pay attention to those tabs close that close this side bend it just slightly so that it slips in there shake it around to kind of <laughs> make sure it's it's uh in there right and there you go that is the seraphim's unforgiven um if you like this unboxing go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below that would be awesome if you like these types of unboxings if you collect cds dvds blu-rays if you're a k-pop fan if you like btx tomorrow by together in hyphen and team um anybody like that Definitely check out my channel because I have lots of unboxings from all those uh, all those groups. Um, also, be sure to hit subscribe and the notification bell so that way you won't miss any of my future uploads. So thanks so much for watching, everyone, and I'll catch you next time.